Good morning, students. Continuation will see the okay, types of organic reactions. One is rearrangement reaction is there. Okay, continuation will have one more polymerization reaction. Okay, that very cyclic reaction not sent in our PU syllabus and the nature syllabus also, CT syllabus also. So, can't see that one. Okay, continuation will see the rearrangement reactions and the polymerization reaction. Okay, here, <coughs> what are the rearrangement reactions? Okay, the replacement of atom or group within the molecule or in between two molecules or the rearrange of rearrangement of atom or group within the molecule or in between two molecules we call as rearrangement reactions. If the rearrangement is observed within the molecule, we call intramolecular rearrangement. If the rearrangement is observed within two molecules, we call as intermolecular rearrangement. Intermolecular rearrangement. We'll see some example for the intramolecular rearrangement and intermolecular rearrangement. Intermolecular rearrangement. See here, different rearrangements are there. First I am taking rearrangement. CH3, CHCl, CH3. Okay, here concentrate hydrochloric acid, anhydrous aluminium hydrochloric acid. What happens? CH3, CH2, 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 chlorothropane What is the name of this one? 2 chlorothropane converts into 1 chlorothropane See, this group rearranged from second carbon to first carbon Second carbon to first carbon this we call as intramolecular rearrangement. Suppose, for example, Fry's rearrangement. Fry's rearrangement. Okay, Fry, Fry's rearrangement. We have two types of Fry's rearrangement. Fry's rearrangement involves in intramolecular rearrangement and intermolecular rearrangement. Both. We will see what is the phase rearrangement. Okay, here, this is the OH phenol reacts with acetyl chloride. Acetyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminium trichloride forms OC double bond OCH3. This is Phenyl acetate. Phenyl acetate. This okay, here. This is also reacts with anhydrous aluminium trichloride. Okay, with intramolecular and intermolecular. That means first this is reacts with aluminium trichloride. And this one release it will eliminate it first, then it add. Otherwise, okay, continuation molecule shifted from here to here. Then also one possibility is there that we call intramolecular. Okay, I don't want to go for the all those, but just can be real. In presence of anhydrous aluminium trichloride, here OH. C double bond O CH3 or OH C double bond O CH3. This is called ortho hydroxy, ortho hydroxy acetophenone. This is para hydroxy. 
एसिटोफिल आर्टो हाइड्रोक्सी एसिटोफिल पैरा हाइड्रोक्सी एसिटोफिल सी हियर एसिटाइल ग्रुप रिएक्टेड फ्रॉम ऑक्सीजन टू कार्बन सो दिस वी कॉल्ड रिएक्टेड ओके कंटिन्यूएशन विद इन द मॉलिक्यूल वी कॉल्ड इंट्रा ओके दिस एल्युमिनियम क्लोराइड रिएक्ट्स विद एसिटाइल ग्रुप इट इज रिमूव्ड एज देन अगेन अटैक्स एंड फॉर्म सेम That is called intermolecular rearrangement reaction. This is the one rearrangement reaction and Claisen rearrangement. Claisen rearrangement. What is the Claisen rearrangement? Phenol. Okay, reacts with CH two double bond CH CH two C. ओके हियर ग्लोरिन दिस आयोडन रिएक्शन की जगह से इंट्रोड्यूस हम अनहाइड्रस एल्युमिनियम ट्राइक्लोराइड व्हाट हैपेंस हियर फॉर सी सी एच टू सी एच डबल बॉन सी एच डबल बॉन सी एच ओके हियर Same in presence of anhydrous aluminium trichloride, it forms OH CH two CH double bond CH two. What is the name of this one? And along with this, one more compound was formed. OH CH two CH double bond CH two. This is what is the name of this one? Artho propinyl phenol. This is para propinyl phenol. Artho propinyl phenol and para propinyl phenol. This is we call as intramolecular reaction. Intramolecular reaction. One more is there. पिनका पिनकल रिएक्ट पिनका पिनकल रिएक्ट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पिनका ओके डाइकार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स वी कॉल्ड एज पिनकोल्स डाइकार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स वी कॉल्ड एज पिनकोल्स Two comma three, diamethyl 
टू कामा थ्री बिट एन डाई दिस रिकॉर्ड किन को किन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच एस आया इट कन्वर्ट्स सी एच थ्री सी डबल वन को This is the one important reaction. Then in continuation, we we'll see the fifth type of organic reaction. Conversion of monomer into polymer. Conversion of 
conversion of monomer into polymer. The conversion of monomer into polymer. Okay, and the other conditions. Which conditions? High temperature and high pressure. We call it as polymerization. What is the monomer? Mono means single. Mer means unit. Poly means many. Mer means units. Okay, the molecule which contain more and more units. Or the molecule which contain many units. We call it as polymer. The molecule which has single unit. The molecule which has single unit we call as monomer. We call as monomer. The conversion of monomer into polymer at high temperature or high pressure we call as polymer. Yes, now this is the just polymerization reaction. How do you represent the polymer? N means monomer. If you take number of monomers. N means number, M means monomer. Okay, reacts with high temperature, high pressure. Reacts with each other at high temperature, high pressure. Forms, this is the representation of polymer. Here, M. Extension means M, 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 M. Here, M, 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 M. Number of molecules as. Okay, and here, M. That means the one molecule contains number of units. Okay, this is a number of monomers. This is the representation of polymer. And here, polymerizations are two types. One is if monomer involves an addition reaction with another monomer, we call it addition polymerization. If monomer Involves in condensation reaction with another monomer, we call it condensation polymers. That means we have two important polymerizations. Okay, one monomer involves in addition with another monomer, we call it as addition polymerization. With this addition polymerization mainly absorbed in arcanes and derivatives of arcanes. Derivatives of arcanes. Okay, next. Okay, here condensation polymerization. What is the condensation polymerization? Okay, if reactions are involved in condensation, you can see condensation. What is the meaning of condensation? Condensation. Such polymers we call as condensation polymers. Example for condensation polymers. So many examples are there. Proteins are the condensation polymers. Terlin cotton is a condensation polymer. Tendin terlin cotton is a condensation polymer. Nylon polymers. Nylon 66, nylon 64 polymers. Okay, phenol polymer is a
all these are the best example for the addition polymers and those are formed by the addition polymerization those are formed by the addition polymerization see the first one addition polymerization already this form is mainly absorbed in alkenes or in derivative of alkenes alkenes mainly involved in addition polymerization addition means one molecule added into the another molecule so we call it as addition the polymers which are produced by the okay we have addition called as addition polymerization here i am taking these four are there we will take c only four here number of ethylene molecules ch2 double bond ch2 we call ethyl ethyl it reacts with each other at high temperature and high pressure it reacts with each other at high temperature and high pressure and one more thing alkenes mainly involves in addition reaction one pol one monomer added into the another monomer and forms like this this we call as polyethylene polyethylene covers polyethylene covers polyethylene next you take number of this is vinyl chloride the reacts with each other at high temperature and high pressure the reacts with each other at high temperature and high pressure what do we get here c h2 bond c h c l extension take it n times this we call polyvinyl chloride pvc pipes we call na pvc pipes Okay, that is the form of PVC. See here, one molecule reacts with another molecule, means double bond becomes single bond. Here also, one ethene molecule reacts with another ethene molecule, la double bond becomes single bond. Here also same. The polymerization of vinyl chloride gives polyvinyl chloride. The polymerization of vinyl chloride gives polyvinyl chloride. Next mutation. polyacrylonitrile take number of acrylonitrile molecules this we call acrylonitrile okay reaction with each other at high temperature and high pressure what happens here ch2 ch cl taken n times see when this molecule reacts with another molecule means double bond becomes single bond this we call poly acrylo nitrite yes na yes next poly acrylic acid this is acrylic acid Acrylic acid reacts with each other at high temperature, high pressure. What happens? One reacts with another. We get the number of molecules contain one molecule. That we call polymer. The double bond becomes a single bond. Here CH two, CH, COOH taken in times poly. Okay, all these are the important examples for the addition polymerization. Addition polymers. Okay, the conversion of polymer into monomer. The conversion of monomer into polymer by the addition reaction we called as addition polymerization. Okay, the formed by by the addition polymerization, the polymers which are formed by the addition polymerization, we called addition polymers. Okay, now these are the example for the addition. Those are the example for the addition polymers. 
and that is called addition polymerization here here there okay what are those condensation polymerization what are the condensation polymerization the polymers which are produced which are produced by the condensation reaction we called as condensation polymers and the polymerization we called as condensation polymerization in continuation we will see the some examples for the condensation polymers what are those one is sterling cotton and one is nylon 64 polymers we will see in continuation in second pvc we have chapter we will see second pvc complete but here we will see basic concept C H two we call amine. C H 
which will be called methylene. Tetramethylene. We call condensation. See, what of it? C double bond O H as usual. C H two taken four times. C double bond O N H. This bond we call amide bond. This we call amide bond. And here C H two taken four times N H two. How many amide bonds are there? Only one amide bond is there, so we call it mono amide. Mono amide. This is the mono amide. Okay, if you heat this one at high temperature and high pressure by taking number of mono amides, this is mono amide, which contain one amide, so we call it mono amide. Mono amide. Over here, at high temperature, high pressure means one molecule reacts with another molecule. That means first molecule OH reacts with second molecule NH, and first molecule NH reacts with second molecule OH with carbon acid. Finally, it gives H two O like this. Right expression. This end gives OH, and here C H two taken four times. C double bond O, NH, C H two taken four times, NH taken ten times. Here how many bonds? C double bond O which bonds are there? Number of. So we call only amide. And nylon six four. What is six four? It contains six carbon atoms. So I wrote six. It contains four carbon atoms. Now I wrote four. Nylon six four polymer. This is the preparation of nylon six four polymer. Okay, condensation is the one more important polymer. Terlin atom. This is polyester. टेरी Heat at high temperature, high pressure. 
what happened? One molecule of monoester reacts with another molecule. That means here OH releases, here H releases. Finally, what it releases? H2O. What we have right in extension form in polymer form. Here C, double bond O, benzene, C double bond O, O, CH2, CH2, O, taken in times. This contains number of esters. Function is so we call it polyester. This is produced from terylene, terytaric acid. So we call it terylene cotton. This we call it terylene cotton. See, these two are produced by the condensation reaction. That's why these two are called condensed polymers. And the polymerization is called condensation polymerization. Okay, this is about the types of organic reactions. Types of organic reactions. In continuation, we will see the one more important concept, basic concept. Isomerization, isomerism or bond polarization effect. Two topics are there, two fundamental concepts. We will see in continuation those two fundamental concepts. Okay, these are little bit tough, but try to understand by practice only. Just you practice all these reactions, then we will get definitely good result in chemistry.